everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to make videos again. Um, I feel like I've matured a lot from last year and I'm ready to actually make videos, not just make one and not make any more. So I'm going to do a wee Q&A today to kind of get to know me. Um, so I'm getting used to like talking back on the camera again because this is taking a lot of confidence to do this again. And then it means I can do other wee kind of like vlogs and hauls again once I've built up that confidence. So I just asked on my Instagram for some comments and then I got some like get to know me ones as well. Um, just for anyone else that doesn't follow me on Instagram so you know kind of get to know me ones. So I'll start with the get to know one and then I'll just do the wee kind of Instagram ones here for you. So starting with the get to know me ones, I've got how old are you? Um, I'm 18 years old. Uh, what's your star sign? I'm a Cancer. Um, I'm born July the 16th. So that would make me a Cancer obviously. Um, what are you studying at uni currently? Um, so I'm currently studying international fashion branding at Cali. I'm in my first year. I just finished my first semester actually. Um, like in December and then all my exams just finished yesterday. So I've got a few more weeks until my actual semester two starts. But I'm loving it. It is so good. If you want to get into like a fashion course, like highly recommend this one. Um, so I'm enjoying it so much. Um, what is your favourite shop? I'm going to assume this is like clothing shop. I would say Zara. I know that's what's it called an unpopular opinion but anytime I went to Zara I always find something even like Zara's leggings like they're all my leggings are like Zara I got good hoodies and then when you find like nice Zara stuff you find nice Zara stuff I'm gonna do a wee haul of Zara because I've got some stuff I've got stuff from like kind of November to now so I wanted to just do like a kind of big haul of like all this stuff and I'll just double check that everything's obviously still on websites because I did like filming hauls that was fun well that one haul I filmed <laughs> Um, another one was favourite designer brand. Um, I've only became a designer fashion recently since starting my course actually. Like see, like this time last year I owned nothing designer because like I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Still can't but um, I just didn't like know what I liked. I feel like I was just buying stuff for the sake of it. So favourite I'm not answering the question. <laughs> favourite designer brand would be Burberry and I got a Burberry bag for Christmas off my boyfriend so that kind of started my bag collection but I've always loved Burberry like just love the pattern. I love the brand, like, if that was, like, a brand I'd ever worked for, like, as in, like, working in the Burberry HQ, like, no, if I, if I would ever work for a designer brand in the HQ, that's what I'd love to work for, because it's in London, I would love to live in London. Um, do you have any tattoos? Yes, I've got one, I actually just got it last week, it's my first one, because I said I wrote a wee, I mean, I just did a video on that, I wrote a wee, like, um, goals for 2022 in YouTube. Get back on YouTube was one and then get a tattoo was one. I'll show you it. Oh my god. My camera's went blurry. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. That's a wee tattoo. It's got 222. And that means right place, right, right place, right time. Because I feel like this year has all just been that like, get into my uni course, meet my friends, other things. Like, it's all just been right place, right time. So got that there and that's my angel numbers that I always see as well. Um, are you single? Nope, I've got a boyfriend. Um, how did you meet your boyfriend? Uh, school. That's why I met him in school four years ago. Um, do you have any pets? Yes, I've got three pets. I've got a dog, Oscar. Shall I go get him? Right, okay. I'm gonna go get him. This is Oscar. <laughs> He's raging at me, I just woke him up. Um, and he's heavy. So yeah, that was Oscar. He's 12. He'll be 13 in July as well. Got him when I was 6. I'm sort of ready for to go and get him as well. He's really heavy. Um, and then I've got two guinea pigs as well. Watch her down there. I would get him in her cage, but... Pure can't be bothered. That's for another video. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Um, another one was shuffle your playlist. <laughs> Let's do that. While I regain, regain my breath. I don't really have like set pl playlists, but I'll shuffle my like songs on Spotify and I'll try not get copyrighted. Right. Are we ready? I promise I'm not cheating. No, we're not playing that one. <laughs> That was without you by the kid Lorraine, I think. Let's shuffle it again, let's shuffle it three times because good content. 
Let's see. Let me see the one. Sonnet by the Bear. <laughs> and then wake me up when September ends by Green Day. So I do have quite a varied mix in my playlist. That was fun. Um, next one is what is your favourite movie? Um, I'm so not a movie person. Like, I don't watch movies like willingly because I don't have the concentration span. Like, I've got to watch like series. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be Cat in the Hat. Like, I just love that film. It's such a weird one. Like, so weird. But Cat in the Hat, 2003, Mike Myers, I think it is. He plays Cat in the Hat. Brilliant. So funny. And seeing you watch it as, like, I was going to say an adult, but I'm not really an adult. When you watch it when you're older, it's even more funny. And what was I going to say there? Oh, another film, Shutter Island. Because I love thrillers. Like, thrillers are my favourite genre ever. Um, did I say the film? See, can't remember. Shutter Island, Leonardo DiCaprio. So good. Three hours long. But, like, I remember my boyfriend, like, told me to watch it. And we were, like, watching it together. And he fell asleep. And this was, like, we started watching it at, like, 12 o'clock at night. And I was, like, I couldn't pause it because I was, like, I need to finish watching this. Three o'clock in the morning, got to the end. And I was, like, don't film you just, you get to the end. And there's not really, like, well, there is an answer. But it's, like, that's the answer. Like, and then I watched it again, like, a week later. And, like, I could see all the signs from what the answer was. It's so good, you need to watch it. So if you like that genre and you've not seen that, watch that. It's on Netflix as well. So I'm going to move on to the Instagram questions now. I've got actually quite a lot, which I was pretty chuffed with. Mainly my pals, but stuff chuffed the questions. Um, so I'll just start from the bottom and work up. Um, what are you wanting to do after uni? So, oh, that was a series I forgot to talk about, Ellen Paris. So if you've ever watched Ellen Paris, if you've not, I'll explain the job, obviously. But the job that she does in Ellen Paris is like a marketing advisor or like she works for a marketing company who like do marketing campaigns and all that for loads of different companies so that's what I'm wanting to do like running like social media accounts for like companies and um, doing like big marketing campaigns like planning events and stuff like that so definitely that's what I want to do if I could do it somewhere like Paris I would love to for like a few years um definitely work with like a marketing company or alternative to that if I can't find a marketing company that like has companies I want to do is work in house doing marketing. Say like Burberry, they'll like have a marketing team that decide how they're going to market like summer, spring, tw well spring summer of twenty twenty three. What they're what cat what they're going to do? How they're going to like get public relations to like interact with. Say for example, I'm on pure rambling right, but if anyone is interested, <laughs> you know how Adele done like for her album thirty. She had like thirty like the number posted all around like London and people were like does that mean like Adele's like doing that and it got people excited people were like making theories like that was obviously a marketing team that created that so that's what I'm wanting to work for I just don't know if I want to work for a marketing company like she said Neville in Paris and do like alcohol brands luxury hotels like luxury designer handbags or just luxury handbags like that kind of thing or do I want to work like in-house for like a brand but that's definitely what to do after uni with my degree um, another question is, how are you? Which was quite sweet. I enjoyed that question. Um, I'm good. I'm thriving. Definitely thriving right now. I'm enjoying my life. Like, there's nothing I would change about my life right now. Like, I've got some holidays booked. I've got a good pal group around me. Both like, oh, that'd be the flash one. Um, of like my uni group and then like my kind of school group that I'm still pal with, which obviously good. Um, the next question is, how do you get the confidence to do this? I dream of making a YouTube, but genuinely so scared. Um, I've got some advice for this. First one is to surround yourself with good people, like, that will motivate you to do it and not ones that will, like, be happy for you, but not at the same time. I feel like that goes for everything in life. So, the, yeah, surround yourself with good people that will, like, motivate you to do it. Um, just do it as well like that's what I did last time like I just done it and that was it done and that's why I feel like I've got more confident this time because there's already something there and it's not familiar to anyone I've done it before so like just do it because see once it's done it's out of the way and it's up there yeah you can delete it if you want to but once it's up there it's like anything that you post like if you don't like it you can take it down but once it's done it's done and it's honestly like it was a confidence boost I feel like it's going to be a confidence boost this time because I know I'm capable of like making videos like this and people enjoying them but there's just that wee voice in your head so just 
patch that as well be like okay let's just do it like I want to do it um, and make stuff that you want to make like I try to do certain videos like I've filmed videos like this past year and I've, I've just not liked them because I feel like they just weren't me film stuff you want to so see if it's just like vlogs you just want to do vlogs just go do that or if you just want to do hauls that's what I'm kind of wanting to do I'm just wanting to do ha uh, hauls and kind of vlogs I'm not wanting to kind of do other types of videos I'm not really for that but like do videos you want to do because see sitting down and try to film something you don't want to do you'll hate it so yeah that'd be my advice but definitely number one is just to do it because see once it's done and it's up you'll feel such a relief because it'll be done especially if it's something you like really want to do like if it's like a dream of yours then just go ahead and do it another question is what is your most embarrassing story i've got plenty like i've got proper plenty of embarrassing stories some i probably wouldn't be able to say because i'm still hitting the fear from them but i think one of the most embarrassing that happened not recently but like kind of when clubs had opened was obviously i was telling you that i bought a digital camera to clubs like just kind of wee person in the office straight of mine and i bought this um camera it's not big like let me show you so this is said camera that I bring everywhere and I just had a pure bright flash on it and it's got funny photos like I don't even want to look at them so yeah I took that camera out to Sanctuary in Glasgow and I, I was drunk like really drunk and was like taking photos not even my pals anymore I was going off myself and taking photos of people and when you look on that I've got like groups of people as if we're a club photographer like, I could have uploaded it to the actual website and there'd be groups of people on it and people would be like, oh, there's me with a family screenshot of it. But yeah, so clearly people would remember me from the night before from this bird running about Sanctuary with a digital camera taking photos of people. And I look onto like my message request because it's like usually you have like four and they're all like pure random like group chats like or like sugar daddies. But I'd gotten like actual ones and I was like, why am I getting pure loads today? So I clicked on it and it was like people being like, hi, um, do you know when the sanctuary photos are going to be uploaded? Um, I know you're the sanctuary photographer. And I was like, surely not. Surely I wasn't running about so much with this stupid wee camera looking like the sanctuary photographer or like a club photographer. Wake up next morning, riddled with a hangover and then reading them, I was then riddled with the beer, thinking that people think I'm the sanctuary photographer. So that's my most embarrassing story that I can on camera. Another one was who or what inspired you to create your YouTube content? I thought this one's a good one to end on as I can't kind of round up. Um, give it a thumbs down because I'm going to get quite chatty. I promise I'll try not to ramble that much. But who eyes like who inspired me? I would definitely say like the groups have got around me like pal groups because like I post about it on like private stories and stuff. I'm like oh one like, like one of my YouTube videos again and like the people I've got around me are like do it or like if I speak about it in person I'm like do it which is a lot a lot more different a lot more different a lot different from last year when I made that video um obviously it's still up and I want to keep it up because it really shows like the difference I feel like this one's going to be compared to that one so I feel like that one was just so forced because I feel like I had to do it so definitely like um the people I've got around me I've still got the same people from like some of the people from last year but just I've cut not cut out but like I don't speak to a lot of people I was still in school like I had to speak to people in school so I've not got that like kind of social aspect of school you're in uni and you sit with your pals in uni and that's kind of it so definitely people I've got around me um now compared to last year is like being massive to who's inspired me to do it as well just like kind of YouTubers that I watch I see them I'm just like well I'd like to do like make better videos I think I could do that I think I could do hauls I could do vlogs um but I've not got like a specific YouTuber that's made me want like yeah because they're doing it I want to do it just like watching YouTube videos in general but definitely people I've got around me like my uni pals like my school pals that I'm friends with like people that I talk to like all that type of things um and then what's inspired me is definitely like my career that I want to do I've kind of spoke about in this um because I'm going to need to make like content for like brands if I'm wanting to work for a marketing firm like you need to be confident and like step out the box and I'm going to need to be able to speak in front of my camera for like making like marketing videos or like speak to strangers when you're like casting for like photo shoots and stuff like that um and then what inspired me is like I just want to do it like I loved I loved when I made that haul like yeah it was kind of forced I felt like I had to because I was making I was like taking kind of Instagram photos but this time like I want to look back on my YouTube videos when I'm younger when I'm, when I'm younger 
when I'm older and be like, oh, that was like a fun point in my life, even if like I stopped doing it at one point, or even like if it turns into something, like it's just a bit of fun. Like there's no harm, no harm. That's not the word. Like I'm doing it because I'm enjoying it now, and not because I feel any pressure. Like last year, I felt like oh, I had to do it. Like I feel like it was like expected because people were calling, people were telling me, or like I felt like it was like the next thing I had to do from taking Instagram photos, and then it's just like. She's like a wee diary, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just like a little record of like clothes. And I like sharing like my clothes. Like, I love like, oh, this is from here, this is what I got. I might not have the best style, but like, I like just like talking, to be honest. That, that, because I've summarised it a lot quicker. <laughs> I just like talking. Like, it's just a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, that's what's inspired me. The people around me, and then I like talking. Like, <laughs> plain and simple, could have said that in one sentence for you, but rambled on and um, so yeah that's all the questions i've got today and um, we just kind of get to know me because i know the people that kind of find this video that don't follow me on instagram so they don't really know much about me um, and we just kind of gain my confidence speaking in front of the camera again which i think i have done i've spoke quite a lot <laughs> so yeah um, i've got some plans for other videos cats but i didn't do last night i have plans so i plan to do like a few more hauls a few vlogs but yeah all will be revealed soon i'm excited and um, thanks for watching I hope you've all enjoyed and I promise I'll be back this time. Thanks for watching.